identified man's body was found in an alley this evening. Come as soon as possible and examine it. I am the one who found the body. That's why I asked you to come. You are a detective I can trust. I haven't learned much yet. Sandra came and left things for you to use. Take a look at the scene. We'll discuss the details of the case. Buy one for my wife every birthday. They are her favorite. Hmm. This all reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it yet. It reminds me of a very old case, but that maniac has been behind bars for a long time. I know of only one store that sells these flowers. Take their business card. Welcome. My name is Rose. I apologize for not answering sooner. I didn't hear you because of all the cleaning up. Unfortunately, I can't serve you right now. Somebody broke into the store and trashed everything. I even had to close the antique shop earlier, which I also own. Oh, so you're a detective? Wesley is my husband. Is he in trouble again? He hasn't been in since last night, and I don't know where he is. My dear Wesley, how could this happen? Excuse me, detective. 
You can look around all you want, but I need some time. He suffered a great loss not long ago, the passing of his mother, and because it was so hard to bear, he withdrew from the world. I'll open my husband's workshop for you if you want. It's on the attic floor. I'll open the attic floor for you.
is my husband's appointment card. He was seeing a therapist regularly. Chief already told me about the strange case you're investigating. I'll be glad to help you, so I'll come if you send me the address. According to the card you found, Wesley had an appointment with Mark right about now. But he's not here. Although, his secretary said that he let her go home while he stayed behind with the last patient. I suggest we take a good look and see if we can find a clue as to where he might have gone. Oh, I didn't know that. Now perhaps we can find him quicker. Aren't these all the criminals we've caught in the last six months? Why then is Daniel Smith marked as important? Let's go to the Bureau and interrogate him. I'll also have one of the patrol officers detain Rose McDewitt, since what she said about her husband visiting the psychologist was a lie. Take these files. You're going to need them.
I spent quite some time with Mark, but even outside the walls of the therapist's office, we were on pretty good terms. Actually, I'd say he's a big name within academia. A fine specialist. Particularly interested in troubled people, as they call it. In people who tend to sink into deep despair. Mark was more than just a therapist to me. He was my mentor and my friend. It is because of him that I feel so much better now. What I can tell you is that the last time we met, Mark was asking about the new amusement park project. Obviously, because I was working on it. Care for a peek at something exciting? I believe there should be records of the case in your bureau's database. Here, let me write it down. We must get inside the park, now!
The park's empty, so I have no idea how to start this wheel. I don't understand. What could they possibly be talking about? I'll check on Xavier, and you'll find a way to start that stupid wheel! Whatever the cost, don't let them slip away!
Rose McDewitt is under arrest, thanks to you, of course. But, um, Coleman's gone. Still, I'm glad you're okay. Xavier, he, uh, you know, there was no way. They couldn't save him. It's a terrible loss. I'm telling you, we're going to find Mark Coleman. But the regular workload isn't going anywhere. We've got another case. There's been an increase in reports of missing persons. Everyone with a specific pattern. All victims were ditching their cars in the middle of the road and disappearing. Let's divide and conquer. I'm going to try to crack the missing person thing, and you're going to look for Coleman. Start with Rose in the interrogation room. I'll be in touch. My so-called husband knew all about the Scarlet Hyacinth Killer. He refused to report him when people were dying. So he, too, is responsible for all the deaths, including the death of my sister. None of your business. I have nothing else to say to you. I won't tell on him until he finishes what we have planned together. <laughs> Has the Bureau run out of leads? Even the media know a lot more than you, it seems. How are you, detective? <laughs> I got your text about the article. I'd rather talk about it in person. How about a meeting? Uh, something of a free tour at our publishing house. I'll send you an invitation via messenger.
pleasure as always to see you, detective. <sighs> I just got back from working on a major case. Haven't even had lunch yet. Do you mind if I run down to the diner up the street? You're welcome to join me when you find something about Noah Hall's article. You can take a look around if you want. If you are interested, I can let you into the video archive as well. There's a lot of interesting stuff in there. You might find something relevant. Then I have to run. There are a few pages missing. That's odd. The only reason for this could be that someone has encrypted this data. See if you can find the missing files, and I'll take a look at what we've got. I'll share with you what I find out later. By the way, did you learn anything from Coleman's accomplice? Uh, Rose, is it? That must be just the tip of the iceberg. You should look into Mark's background, his family, everything. Find out if there's more to their agenda than just revenge. You know, I actually ran into Mark pretty often. Here, 
I mean, he eats at the Steiner a lot, too. I never would have thought that he... I'll try to find out something from the staff here. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to get his address.
Oh, you're awake already, detective. Mark mentioned you're a tough cookie. I've been waiting for you. I even had to put a spike under your car. I promised Mark I'd find you. It's in your best interest to sit tight and quiet until we get there. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Mark knows everything. He's the one who helped me slip away from your partner, Matthews. He's going out of his way to catch me. Don't! Stop!
Now, I guess you're accustomed to everything happening at your every whim. It all falls from the sky like mana from heaven for you, and everything always works out. Not this time. Detective, I got here as fast as I could. Man, you're special. Criminals are attracted to you like bees to honey. At least you're okay this time. The driver got away, but I have junior officers searching for him. He won't get far. We should stay focused on finding Coleman. It's time to put an end to these crimes. You proved to be a diligent detective. It was a good idea to put a wire on you. It helped us to react quickly. Great job. Hello, partner. You forgot this folder at the Bureau. You should be more careful with documents, you know. Greetings. I was appointed as your interim chief to bring order to this department. I've heard about your unprofessional methods, and I'm not a fan. But for now, go back to work. All right. Let's take a look around here. I think we both know who's involved here. The flower is obviously Mark's work. There's a reason he keeps referring us to that old case. We have to find out how the Scarlet Hyacinth is involved in this. Officers have tried to find Mark Coleman, but he wasn't anywhere we expected him to be. It's a good idea to look around Hall's apartment for some clues, and find out his connection to Mark Coleman. We should try to find his ID card. Journalists always take it with them. Take this.
Isn't it strange how such a man lives in such a place? His apartment number is 68. Wow, what a mess. Never would have thought that's a place of a famous journalist. The head of an entire publishing house, even. I will search here. You can take a look at the dark room.
Oh my god! I think we finally found our Scarlet Hyacinth. That's our new chief, Andrew Palmer. Chief is asking for you at the Bureau. He has no idea we're on this guy yet. Try to convince him that Coleman is our perp while I look for him. Take this flash drive. Print out the pictures from it and pass them to Palmer as evidence. All of this is circumstantial. No more blabbering about Mark Coleman, you hear me? Couldn't he tear his jacket earlier? The fact that all of them turned out to be criminals is suspicious, but that's not solid evidence. This is a significant piece of evidence. We should send a unit to his apartment. Fine, detective. I'll get an arrest warrant for Mark Coleman. But don't you think you're rushing things? I'm sure you can gather more evidence. Carry on then, detective. Once I made a terrible mistake myself. You should learn from it. 
Take this case file and read it. Finally, get to the university where Mark works, ASAP. He's here. Take Sandra with you. There are wounded here, maybe even some casualties. I called for backup, but I'm sure you could get here before them. Hurry. There's no time to spare. We need to tend to the wounded and find Scott. He has no pulse. Help me get him downstairs. We can do it together.
You probably already know the whole story. I had no desire to kill your friend, but he was very insistent. Your partner clearly doesn't have much time. I have no regrets. I don't feel sorry for those who died at the hands of my patients. It's all nothing compared to the good I've done for society, probably even more than the Bureau of Investigation. But what pushed me personally, my lovely wife, she shouldn't have met such a horrible death. I tried to warn law enforcement, but they didn't believe me. Since I can't trust them, I've decided to take matters into my own hands. I tried to protect my wife and the others. You would have done the same if you were me. So all that's left to do is to decide whose side you're on. Huh. Fair enough. I guess that makes me one of those criminals I've always despised so much. It's not over for me yet. Not that easily. Good job, Detective. This case will go all the way to court. You conducted an excellent investigation, and the evidence gathered by you is enough to put Mark Coleman behind bars. Glad to be working with you again, partner. Job well done. <laughs>